around my story. My life has taught me that each one of us has more than one face. And there are faces that are much worse than our nightmares. My name is Susan, and the story I will tell you needs to understand my reasons before judging me. When I was in school, I was one of the celebrities that all the kids wanted to be with, including Josh, one of the school bullies, who was obsessed with me and tried to get close to me in every way. But I could not, because I had always rejected him. But also, this was not my reality, which I hid because my family was very poor, and I was embarrassed to show them to my friends or to anyone. And at that time, I became in relationship with my friend Max. And Max was one of the boys that I could call the idiots of the school because he was very mean. And the rest of the students were surprised that I chose him. And despite this, all the students, even the bullies, including Josh, were afraid of Max and could never get close to him, which was strange. The days passed and I left Max. I left the city with my family and our financial conditions turned from bad to worse. And one day, when I was leaving the university, a young man in a very cool car stood in front of me and smiled at me without speaking before introducing himself, that he is Max, the school friend. He searched a lot until he found my address. Yes, this is strange, but the splendor of his car and the surprise of the situation made me forget everything and then we became into a relationship again. He was very rich, and his house was like palaces. I was not mainly interested in knowing the source of this money because I knew that Max's father was rich since the school days, and this is not strange. But over time, I noticed his strange behavior. I became sure of my suspicions that there was something strange when I found a large quantity of drugs in one of Max's bags. At first, I hid that, but at some point, I told him what I saw and that I knew he was a drug dealer. At that time, he was very calm and told me that each one of us has something to hide. And this was my truth. I was just a girl who had been lying that she was someone else all her life. But I couldn't bear this situation. And that's why I called the police. They came to Max's house and arrested him and his men, except for a group that managed to escape. They gave me a big financial reward because Max was one of the most dangerous wanted drug men, but I lost Max forever. Of course, it was not true love, but this does not prevent that it caused me great pain. I decided to leave all this and go back to my family, but I did not find them and received a message. My family was kidnapped by Max's men, and they asked me to come to a place on the outskirts of the city if I wanted to see them again. Everything collapsed in my mind, and I felt like I was in a nightmare, and there was no solution for me other than to listen to their words and go to that place. There, Max's men came out to me with my family in handcuffs. For a moment, I was about to cry, but I held on. Immediately, the shooting started between the police and Max's men, as I told the police what happened and they were hiding in the place. At that time, a bullet hit my brother. The gangsters were arrested while I broke down. And I met Josh again, the school bully in the past, who was then one of the policemen who arrested the gangsters. The bullet that hit my brother caused his death, and I lost one of the closest people to me. But Josh never left me after that, and I got back in this ordeal. At that time, I made sure that I was stupid when I rejected him a long time ago and chose a fake face, just as I was fake too.